Hey everybody, what's going on today? Random Andrew here, coming at you in high def. It's got a big handle on it, so uh, it's kind of hard to film inside the car like this. But, thank you, shout out, thank you Hef, Jess Heffron. He's loaned us the use of his Canon SX40 HS camera today. I don't think it's a power shot, it's better than a power shot. It's fairly similar to the Canon I used to have, but this one's got the flip out screen and all that groovy features. It's even got slow-mo. Anyways, we're using this today, courtesy of Huff, to film some actual high def trailing for you guys. Going somewhere pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to say anything, but I guess I could start explaining that now. Where we're going is Waterworks. We've been to Waterworks. So we trailed the trail there before, but never ever in my life have we entered the park the way that we're about to enter by a car. It was closed down when I was a kid. Yeah, like that. That's I'm gonna try to reposition this you camera. You were a baby. I would have been a baby, yeah, when the road was closed. But this was actually an entrance into the park before. Don't you enter it on me. I just seen a sign that said vehicle access that way, but we're gonna just check out this way. This entrance uh, was a main entrance at one point in time, but it is, it wasn't forever. You could ride your bikes down there, you could walk down it, but uh, now they've opened it back up. We're gonna go see if we can't use it today. I don't know. Uh, are you sure it's open? I don't oh, think it's I open yet. Not. But you can see they're going oh, to well, be. Oh, well maybe. Yep, it is, dude. Ooh. Is it a path? Is it a walking path or is it a driveway? Uh, so check it out. <laughs> I think it's a. I walking think it's a path. walking path. I don't <laughs> think it's a driveway. Okay, we'll pull over here and we'll just stop and have a look, anyways. That's funny. Technically, I could drive the car down there. Well, yeah, but I don't think they're going to be intending the this for uh, ve vehicular access. You know how fast this is going to be. Oh <laughs> man. Now this is the longboard hill right here, as long as you can For keep sure. it clean. And there's Waterworks Park down in here. I'm not going to walk this whole wow. hill. That is going to be so fast. But it looks like people have been driving it. Probably the works people. Yeah. We don't want to get in any kind of trouble, so... They've even uh, street sweeped it off and everything. Right on. For years I've been saying they need to redo this, but they need to do it as an actual road because yeah. the main road in the hill, because the hill itself is steep, it's kind of dangerous in the winter, a lot of people avoid the park in the winter, and they shouldn't because there's that great big pond that could double like an ice rink. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're, we're not using that entrance today. Like this road. Like, this is a heck of a grade to fight in the winter. Oh, they took the ditches right out and everything. Yep. Filled it all in. Woo! Good hill. That last little rumble strip at the end to slow you down. <laughs> oh, wow, they've changed the whole parking lot setup. Basically took up a whole bunch of space by putting that one big thing there. Remember that pond I was just saying that people should be able to access in the winter? Right here. Could actually have a huge public skating thing going on around here. We've got some, got some wildlife, some waterborne. Where's the zoom, where's the zoom? Here we go. Oh, you could even do the electric RC boats here as Craig was just saying. And then you got a guy way down there. What are you doing down there? Oh, he's fishing. Good day for it. That's quite the zoom. That is quite the zoom. I like it. And then, way over in that corner of the park is where the hill is, where we were just at the top of. So we'll go power zooming again. Is it gonna focus? Can I get a refocus? There we go. And then the hill all the way up. 
pretty groovy, eh, folks? So now I'm just gonna power up everything in the deadbolt, and we're gonna make our way to a trail where Craig is going to film. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready to go. I what about you? Are you ready? What a silly flip over. It was off of nothing. stop and film this spot right here this is Dale's hole Dale we found your bear with me folks we found Dale's hole <laughs> <laughs> it's a big just dip in the ground it's he had his summit out here if you guys hole. go back to I think it was in the spring and he had his summit swimming in show it swimming in this hole right here, you give it a uh, back here. It's, yeah yeah Okay, it doesn't look that deep right now, but I'm serious. The water was literally like to here, so this <laughs> axial would have been underwater. That's how full oh up my. this whole area was. Whoa.
over the Narnars. <sighs>you can tell we are now somewhere very different um, as you know my videos I like to try and keep them in order to what we're filming to what we're actually doing so we've now made ourselves all the way here bum, 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 bum. Dale Wood Dam looks like they've done a new fence around this part I don't know that looks different for some reason Yeah, this dam still gives me the heebie-jeebies and I'm not even sure why. Yeah, because this is all bent over and stuff with people trying to break in. Yeah, people just want in there so bad. So this is what we just climbed down. Fun, fun stuff. Because my battery is so far forward now, I have to actually uh, be very cautious of how quick I come to a stop. But now look at this. I almost see a line that can be crawled Almost right, like Craig just said before the camera was on, if we had Clifford with us today, Clifford could do that whole crawl, no problem. Yeah, we'll come back with Clifford. But for today, I want to just see how far out we can get the axial. It might not be that far out because I haven't completely waterproofed everything yet, like floatable waterproof. But there's also, it looks like the trail is a lot more defined over here. So we're gonna be able to shoot that trail someday too. All right, so let's get to doing this. You wanna to get to doing this? I wanna to get to doing this.
Yeah, I'd see having a little more courage with uh, Cliff. Cliff would just tiptoe right across that. Oh no, you do! And have you given it a name yet? Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be called the Mondo Gecko. Yeah. I was thinking of the Green Bastard. Nah, we already had a Pink Bastard. Okay, so we just found an impossible area. Hi. We just found an impossible area that we're going to try. I have already done it once, but it took... Uh, what two tries three tries? Yeah, so we're gonna try it again. This is an old uh, disc golf pad They replaced the, with new ones and they just flop the old ones over leaving us something to crawl. So let's try it Edit <laughs> Leaves stuck in the tire for authenticity. <laughs> the scale, those would be some big leaves. The Jurassic era. So I'm going to try and stick to the right a little bit so when I get down here and swing out, I can get the truck more lateral where I need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was the tricky part last time. Not tipping. Okay, so now I'm more lateral across the tree, and that gives me less chance for tipping. Yeah! Go Mondo Gecko! So we're pretty much making our way out of the bush. Sorry, I was adjusting the camera. And uh, I'm letting Craig get some run time in. He doesn't quite, he, he's more of a guy who wants like an Emax or a Summit or something big. Something that crawls. Like either an 8 scale or a monster 10 scale. That's a crawler, dude. Yeah, we'll, we'll go I, that I'm way. Not, I'm not into speed. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we'll go that we'll way. Come in over there. Yeah, so we'll come out over there. Right. But I'm, I'm going to try filming Craig while he's doing some of this. I'll be giving him directions, like directing him. But I want to try getting a few different angles with this camera just to see how things look. side of the truck. <laughs> this is how you film drone shots when you don't have a drone. <laughs> Watch out for the tree, he says. I seen it. I just I wasn't gonna walk into it. <laughs> now passing Dale's mud hole. That sounds so much better. Dale's mud hole. <laughs> I want to point something else out to you guys. Check this out. See that pile of deadwood there? 
Piles of deadwood and old concrete there. Piles of deadwood over there. There's actually a guy who comes down here and spends a great deal of time cleaning this all and making it so people can play disc golf, have fun with their hobby without worry or risk of like twisting, breaking an ankle or something. Uh, I don't know who his name, what his name is. Uh, we gotta go over that way. I don't know what his name is. That way. So uh, this side of the dead pile over there. But you know, kudos to him and kudos to anybody who's down here doing the work on this course for all the disc golf players. It's really nice looking. I'm not a disc golfer, but I have a hobby and I really enjoy my hobby. And it's nice to see that somebody else is doing the same for other people in their hobbies. Good job, good job. get donated to the fire. Get it unstuck. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh! Are you hitting? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's dug a hole now. <laughs> I hope like hell that that servo is, for the most part, waterproof. If not, I gotta clean her up. ourselves into a bad area there so I'm coming out straight across I'm gonna try full tilt <laughs> all right people hold on to your butts okay. okay guess what we're running out of battery give me a chance to catch up okay and I'm gonna do that hill Coming down into another mud hole. Good, good. Good, good, Gecko. We're all done here. Cannon battery's about to die, so we're gonna just zap back to the house. Zapping today, not warping. We're gonna zap back to the house and continue vlogging from there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Just now discovering that the camera the whole day was on super vivid which is like a really, really sharp image, and now this is normal, so compare those two, but this is with Hep's Canon. This right here, if you look at the quality of the image, the sound, this is why I need one of these Canons, really bad. I mean, I had a nice Canon, not quite as nice as this one. This one would work even better for me, but I mean, look at it. Look at the video you just watched. Hope you guys enjoyed that new, uh, the new tracks I put in there. I've never seen those ones in the YouTube library before, so I decided to use them and I liked them. They're pretty good. I enjoyed them. So I hope you guys enjoyed them too. I'm about to sit down and eat a massive bowl of stew. Actually, not quite about. I still have to peel potatoes, dice them, throw them in there, and it, it smells so good in here right now. You ever notice that when you cook up something 
that is it takes time to cook so like you get your your meat in there so in this case beef like roast beef so it's going to be really fine really soft really awesome potatoes and corn I don't really have anything else to put in there otherwise it would be garlic onion carrots and just all kinds of yummy but you know it's the end of the month for me so I'm down to the bare minimum but I'm glad I spent the extra the extra on food last month because now I still have probably the way I eat enough meat to last me a whole nother month in there and that's not actually a whole heck of a lot I just don't eat a lot of meat but I'm not a herbivore I, I'm an omnivore I need a bit of meat I need a bit of herbs I just I need to eat so on that note thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed that video today it, it's it's getting better I don't know when I'm feeling good the videos are good when I'm feeling bad the videos are kind of eh you know Anyhow, I got a cat pawing at my leg, so I think it's almost his supper time, too. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your guys' support. Think positive. Stay positive. Keep a smile on your face. And we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night. Vlog over.